Now, Japan's nuclear crisis is still a troubling mystery with daily more revelations of meltdowns and failures. As a result, Germany has just declared it will phase out nuclear power by 2020. But will other countries follow? And what is the future for nuclear power in an ever-hungry energy world? Dr Ziggy Switkowski is the former chairman of the Australian Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation. Tonight he'll present a lecture on nuclear energy, energy post Fukushima at Melbourne's Swinburne University and he joins us now. Ziggy Switkowski, good to see you again. Morning, Virginia. Michael? One of the things I admire about you is no matter what's going on in the world and what might be happening in Fukushima, you're still reasonably optimistic <laughs> about nuclear power in this country, aren't you? Well, look, I think the debate in Australia is continuing. Uh, Do you? You really don't think it's being killed dead by Japan? No, I don't. In fact, the, the conversation now is even better informed because of the saturation coverage of Fukushima and the, and the aftermath. So the Australians are now more aware of the nuclear fuel cycle and the advantages and the risks. Yeah. It's fair to say that uh, the growing kind of optimism about nuclear power in Australia has stalled. Uh, Fukushima has taken care of that. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, we're, we're very, very far away from getting any kind of a political consensus around nuclear power. But the time will come, it may be some years down the line, where the reality of uh, the move to uh, a clean energy economy will force us to contemplate nuclear energy. But how long will this take? Are we, are we talking decades here? Because well, it, it has made a big impact on not just the Australian psyche, but uh, people around the world. To some extent, Michael, it depends upon how seriously we take our uh, emissions reduction targets. I mean, it's one thing to lay out aggressive targets for 2050. It's another to connect the dots between here and now with the technologies that are going to deliver. Mm -hmm. And one of the interesting things that, are hap that is happening now in Japan and Germany that are looking at a future with less nuclear power or no nuclear power is what will... Uh, substitute for nuclear in a, in a way that's as clean. The feeling is that'll be more solar energy, uh, more wind, and if those countries' efforts uh, cause breakthroughs to happen, that might pave the way for Australia to follow. But in absent that, the, the, the journey is, is inevitably going to cause us to include nuclear power in our planning. I'll declare a 